Hey there, I trust that you are well and you have been solving so hard. So, new week, new topic. This week we are looking at matrices. Matrices, we will finish the topic. So come with me and let's go step by step. So, we are beginning with addition and subtraction. Matrices, that's the plural, singular matrix. So, just two examples, addition and subtraction. So, of A is equals to 2, 4, negative 3, 6, and B is equals to negative 1, negative 5, 4, 7. So, I've told you find A plus B. So, A plus B. So, you write your matrix here 2, 4, negative 3, 6, plus your B, negative 1, 4, negative 5, 7. Like that. So this is what you have. You have this 2 plus negative 1. So you have 2 plus negative 1. But because there are two signs, you put 1 in brackets, which is the negative 1. So 2 plus negative 1. Then 4 plus 4. So you have 4 plus 4. Like that. You close. Then you have negative 3 plus negative 5. So in brackets also. Then you have 6 plus 7. So you see each number is adding its own number like that. Partner by partner. So brackets mean multiplication. So positive times negative is negative. So 2 minus 1 is 1. 4 plus 4 8. We have negative 3 plus negative 5. So positive times negative is negative. Negative 3 minus 5 it's negative 8, 6 plus 7, that is 13. Yeah? So, that's the first thing. Simple thing, very easy. So, that's the first question, and that's the answer. Second question is saying A minus B. So, here we are what? Subtracting. Same method, but we are just subtracting here. So, minus. So here we have 2 minus minus 1. We have 4 minus 4. You have seen this one with this one, this one with that one. Excuse me. Then we have negative 3 minus minus 5. You see? Then we have 6 minus 7. Simple as that. So, negative times negative is positive. So, 2 plus 1 is 3. 4 minus 4 is 0. Yeah? Negative times negative is positive. So, negative 3 plus 5 is 2. 6 minus 7 is negative 1. So, that's your answer. So, this is easy, very easy. So, now I go on to the most important one, one of the most important aspects which is multiplication. We're now looking at multiplication. We're now looking at multiplication. So the formula for multiplication is row by column, row by column. So example, suppose this is a matrix, A, B, C, D. Where are the rows? So these are the rows. This is a row. Horizontal. Horizontal is the row. So A, B is the row, C, D is the row. Now what are columns? This is a column. AC column, BD column. So here the, the order is two by two. Two rows, two columns. You get that? So this is a row, this is a row, it's a column, it's a column. So there are three examples and I know you are going to understand. So examples, multiply the following. So have two, one, three, four. You know, four, three, negative one, two. This is what you do. So, in multiplying, I need you to get me very clear. Usually, one row multiplies more than two columns. So, you are going to see this row, you see this row, it's going to multiply this column and that column. Yeah? So, get check this. Two times four is eight, huh? Plus. Then, one times negative one is minus one. You get what? You, you saw what I did. So, two times four is one times negative one, negative one. The same row with this column. So 2 times 3, 6. Yeah? Then 1 times 2 is plus 2. 
you close. You are seeing one row more than two columns. We get to this row now. So three times four is twelve. Four times negative one, negative four. You, you saw what I just did, huh? Three times four, four times negative one. The same row with this column. Three times three is nine. Four times two, four times two, that's plus eight. Yeah, that's plus eight. I hope you are following. So now, the key here now is just to break down. Positive times negative is a negative. So, eight minus one is seven. Six plus two is eight. It's eight. Yeah? Twelve. 12 minus 4 is 8. Yeah? 9, 9 plus 8, 17. So that's simple as that. So you have gotten it one row more than one column. Now let's check this special example. Look at this. This is 1, 2, 3, negative 1. This is a matrix, and we have another matrix. But here the thing is that. The, the orders are different, meaning this has two rows, this has two columns. This has two rows and it has one column. When, once you come across such and ECZ love such, what you do is you have to find the order. What's the order here for this matrix? It's two by two. The order of this matrix is a two by one. Two rows, one column. Two rows, two columns. So if we multiply this, our final answer will be this. So 2 by 1. Yeah? 2 by 1. So our final answer is to have 2 rows, 1 column. So check this now. 1 times negative 2, negative 2. Yeah? Plus 2 times 5. 2 times 5 is 10. We close. You see, this row is that column. We move on to this row. This row with that column again. So 3 times negative 2 is negative 6. Then negative 1 times 5. Negative 1 times 5 is negative 5. So this is what we have in our final answer. Negative 2 plus 10 is 8. Yeah? Then we have negative 6 minus 5 is negative 11. So this is your final answer. Again, so that's how you multiply matrices with different orders. Where well, not clear, pause the video, rewind, do the same question. Let's look at the third example. We're now looking at our third example, multiplication. So we have this matrix and that matrix. How do you multiply such a matrix? As I said, find the order. What's the order here? How many rows are here? That's just one row. Then times, how many columns? It's one, two, three, so three columns. How about here? How many rows do you see? How many rows? So one, two, three. So there are three times. How many columns? One, two, so two. So once you multiply these, you get this number here representing rows times, then you get this number here representing columns. So final answer has to have one row, two columns. Once I have this, this to be easy for me. So I'll just do this now. Negative 1 times 5 is negative 5 plus 2 times 4 is 8. Yeah? Then 3 times 3 is 9. You get that? Very easy, isn't it? Check it out, check it out, check it out. Yeah? We move on. The same row with this column. Negative 1 times negative 2. That is 2. 2 times 2. That is 4. 3 times 1, that is 3. So negative 5 plus 8 plus 9, those will give you 12. Yeah? Then 2 plus 4 plus 3, that will give you 9. Yeah? So that's it. That's how you multiply such a matrix. We now move on to determinant, inverse, and transpose. This is the last part. We're now looking at, at determinant, inverse, and transpose, uh, the last session of this topic. So we have formulas. Determinant is AD minus BC. 
Uh, I'll explain as we move on. Then inverse is one over determinant. And then yeah, I'll explain how they swap, how they change signs. Yeah? So follow me. We have the first example. I've given you three examples. Find the determinant inverse transpose of this matrix. So check this. So solution. So we have three, four, negative one, negative two. Yeah. So we have this. How you find determinant? You first cross multiply. Start with these numbers firstly. So three times negative two is negative six minus yeah minus because determinant uh, you use minus. Then you cross multiply this. Always start with this. The, this. Then you have four times negative one is negative four. You see I put in brackets because there are two signs. So you have negative six. Positive, negative, sorry, negative times negative is positive 4. So what we have here is that determinant is equals to negative 2. Simple as that. So we found our first answer. The second is inverse. So inverse, you don't solve anything. You just have 1 over the determinant that we found is negative 2. And then look at this. These two they swap, so this negative two go on top, it comes negative two. This three goes down, comes three like that. And then these don't swap, they just change signs. So this negative one becomes one, this is four, becomes negative four. Simple as that, very easy. That's all about inverse. Then transpose now, transpose. So transpose is represented by small letter. So let's suppose this. It's matrix A. So you're going to say A, calculate the T, exponential T is equals to transpose means the rows become the columns, columns become the rows. So let's check our original here. 3, 4. This is a row, isn't it? When it transposes, it becomes a column. So it will be 3, 4. It will become a column. This is a row, transpose it, becomes a column. Comes negative 1, negative 2. Easy as that. Yeah? So check it, pause it. Meditate upon it. Let's look at example two. Okay. This is now example two. Let's read it out. Given that matrix Q is that A two three negative two. Yeah? So we have the question. Find the value of A given that the determinant of Q is two. So solution. Here you are not finding determinant. So it's been given which is 2. But you're going to use the formula for determinant. What is that? Cross multiply, you begin here. So a times negative 2 is negative 2a. Minus for the formula. Then 2 times 3 is 6. This is equals to what's determinant? 2. So you have negative 2a is equals to 2. This is negative 6 goes this side plus 6. So I have negative 2a is equals to 8. So over negative 2, over negative 2. So A is equal to negative 2 into 8, negative 4. Yeah? So that's your answer. Simple as that. That's your A. The second, you see this right Q, then negative 1 the exponential. This simply means inverse. So you're going to have 1 over our determinant has been given, which is 2. We swap. So this is negative 2, we'll go on top. This A we found is negative 4, so it comes here. This change signs, so it becomes negative 3, becomes negative 2. Yeah? So check it out, check it out, see through as we look at now the final example. I know you are getting an idea. Okay. We're now looking at our final example. It's Given that matrix A is equal to that, 1x negative 2, 2. So it says find x if the determinant of A is 5. So that's, as I said, you cross multiply. So this will be that. So 1 times 2, this will give you 2 minus for the formula. Then x times negative 1 is negative x. And the determinant I've given us is 5. Yeah, because we're finding x. 
So what you do is continue here. Negative times negative is plus x is equals to 5. So you have x is equals to 5. This is plus 2. Goes the other side, minus 2. So x is equals to 3. Simple as that, yeah? Simple. Now you have gotten the idea now. Yeah? So b now is a. So this simply means inverse. So this will be 1 over determinant, which is 5. This 2 goes on top, comes 2, then comes 1. These change signs, so it becomes positive 1. The x we found is 3, so it becomes negative 3. So, as simple as that, as simple as that. So, what we do now is, you must solve now. You must solve. The topic is long. It has many sec sections and I've broken them, broken them down. It's now up to you to solve. Happy solving. Take care.